up YouTube Jeff's World 101 back for another video I'm doing this vlog from my car it is broken it does not run right now it's old it's a 99 Buick um, so I just thought hey what a cool place to do my hat collection video first off guys I want to give a big shout out to DeAndre Alexander bro this dude is hands down the best cut hat collector I have ever seen um, Shout out to you, man. I hope we can become friends. Uh, you know, uh, I subscribe to your videos. You got, you definitely got a better hat collection than me, and I'm not, I'm not one to admit that usually, but you do. Um, I've got 280 hats myself, but I got all common hats. The, you know, the on fields, everything like that, and not all of mine are new era. But don't get me wrong, I love new era just as much as you. Um, so shout out, my dude, um, to you. I'm gonna show you guys. Most of you have already seen most of my hat collection, but I'm going to do it in parts like him. He would do two a day. I'm going to do seven, or excuse me, eight hats a day. Um, try to see if we can make it go a little quicker. So here we go, guys. First hat we got is this Baltimore Orioles 2016 postseason hat. Um, this is a good hat. I got this actually online. As you guys know, it's the only on-field I have that's made in China. I told you about the technicality with it. Um, they did currently, they actually did not get to wear this hat in the postseason, so it made it a non-official on-field. Um, as you see, the, the postseason side patch right there, Baltimore Orioles. You see the new era logo, which is now on all the on-fields on the newer ones, um, which I thought is pretty retarded. But hey, you know that's just me. To me, that's what separates the on-fields from the other hats. But, you know, it is what it is. New Era does what they got to do. No disrespect at all. My next uh, hat is from, you guys know, my favorite team. The Houston Astros, the 2015 postseason side patch. Uh, this hat is a very sentimental hat to me. Um, the story on how I got this hat was I had three, three on-fields that were made in China. So I called the CEO of the New Era Baseball Division. Um, I had a Cubs, a Rockies, and a Phillies hats that were all fake. Or not fake. They were made in China. If they're made in China, guys, they're not fake. They're just way lower quality. Um, so don't don't take that. But only the on-fields are supposed to be made in USA. Um, pretty neat uh, fact there. But as you guys see the postseason side patch from 2015. Houston Astros. Regular MLB logo at the back, and I got this hat with those with the three replacement hats for the Phillies, Cubs, and Rockies, and um, they threw this in for free, and this was amazing. I I'm grateful to New York for the rest of my life. This hat was just wow. Yeah, this hat was just wow. Um, but anyways, yeah, another hat. Is the Indians 2016 World Series hat? Um, as you guys know, the Indians lost to the Cubs in Game Seven of the World Series. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's just—it's a very beautiful hat. I mean, very beautifully made. Um, see the World Series side patch, the Indian head, or Chief Wahoo, and of course, it was a newer hat, so it had the New Era flag on the side. Uh, this is a very beautiful hat. I mean, just look how beautiful the hat is, guys. So the next hat is a Miami Marlins 2014 Memorial Day hat. Um, Miami Marlins just have beautiful hats. I like the Miami Marlins hats a lot. Um, I do plan on trying to get an old Florida Marlins hat one day. I don't know. But this hat is awesome in its own way. Uh, it's big on me. It's 7 and 5 eighths. Or excuse me, 7 and 3 fourths, not 7 and 5 eighths. But uh, it's a very beautiful hat. Once I saw this at Ross, I could not pass it up. I had to get it, even though it was uh, a little big on me. Um... Yeah, that's a nice hat, guys. And you guys can see the MLB logo on the back. 
Next hat is just a snapback. It's not New Era. It is an official USA hat by official. Uh, <clears throat> you guys see it? Um, yeah. USA. Not much to say. I got this at, at Ross for actually four bucks. It was on their clearance rack. With a hat on New Era's clearance rack is, or excuse me, uh, Ross's clearance rack is pretty rare because they already sell the hats for much cheaper than the retails do. So yeah. This so next hat I actually got at the only Rockets game I've ever been to. It's this Adidas, Adidas Rockets hat, um, kind of funky style, as you guys can see. I mean, it's, it's it is a fitted, but you know, it's it's a it's a very nice looking hat. I mean, yeah. Next hat is another snapback I found actually at Ross again. It's a Nike University of Houston Chick Fil A Peach Bowl Champions hat. Um, not much to say about this hat. And then finally, you guys got a Carolina Panthers NFL sideline hat. <clears throat> this is my second ever NFL hat next to uh, my Texans hat. Um, this is just a very nice hat. One of my favorites. One of my, uh, just, it's, it just it looks cool on you. I love wearing this hat. Got it at Lids. Cost me $34.99. I got it <clears throat> three days before the Panthers clinched the Super Bowl. So a lot were sold out. You know, as you guys know, they choked in the Super Bowl and Super Bowl 50. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. Shout out to DeAndre Alexander. Uh, stay fly, YouTube. Just we're one on out. See you guys later. Have a great one.